this is a quick demonstration on how you duplicate text. So I've got some text here. As you can see, it just says one, two, three, and that's it. So if I want to do this again, but let's say have it as four, five, six afterwards, the standard thing you do is obviously click on it, edit, copy, then where do I want it? There. You then go edit and paste. As you can see, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's a direct copy. And as I say, so I want it to say four, five, six. So I'm going to change this now to four, five, six. Click off it. But what you can see is it's actually just changed this front one as well. So they both say four, five, six now. So what I've done there is when I've copied and pasted it, it's exactly the same. So you just created a, like a mirror duplicate. So whatever you do to one, it will do to the other one. This is okay if you want it, but if you don't want it, there is a way to get around it. So I'm gonna delete that second one and then change this first one back to one, two, three. One, two, three. So what we're going to do is go up to the top here on Project Assets. And then this is all the clips we open and using in this project. So I'm going to click on it, right click, and then what it says down here is duplicate. So I'm going to duplicate it, and there we go. This is a copy of it. So now I can drag and drop this in. And because they're seen as two different things in the Project Assets, they will behave completely differently. So as you can see, it's one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm gonna click on it and change that to four, five, six. Click off it. And as you can see, it stayed one, two, three, and then it changes into the four, five, six. However, the, the font, the format, the layout, everything is exactly the same. So I hope that helps. As I say, it caught me out for a while but uh, so I'm glad I finally worked out how you can do it. I hope that helped guys. Thank you for watching.